In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this gear-based smooth array pipe in Blender. Let's add a curve point. If you don't see the curve point, please activate an extra objects add-on. If we don't click the 3D button, we can't go up, because we get stuck in 2D. Please change the curve shape to 3D before extruding. In edit mode, type A to select all, V to set the handle type, and A to smooth it. Let's create a sample array curve object by using this cube. This is the basic idea, but we need to work on the array object further like this. Let's change the shape a bit. This is what happens when we subdivide the cube, because the meshes are not merged yet. We're getting this odd looking result, because the faces are overlapping. Overlapping faces were removed, and the edge loops are properly merged. Let's create a gear. If you don't see the gear in the menu, please activate the extra objects add-on. Please experiment with the gear settings to get the best looking result. Let's array curve the gear. Let's go to edit mode and rotate the gear mesh like this. We need to merge, and remove the overlapping faces the same way. This one looks good as well, but let's focus on smoothing the mesh for now. By the way, we can extend the curve any way we like by extruding the end curve point. I'll use the circle select tool to select the vertices we're not going to need. It's better to select the vertices and dissolve them, because we need some faces.
Let's remove the faces in the middle. This one looks good too, but let's work on removing the rest of the overlapping faces. We can manually circle select like this, but what if we had over 100 faces to select? Shift G to select similar, and find the best select similar item to automatically select the similar faces like this. We're not going to need these edges either. Let's scale the gear and use the Control A shortcut to reset all transforms. We're almost done, but did you notice these choppy regions? We can't just subdivide the curve to fix that. We need to manually add more curve points to fix that issue. Right click in S will add more points, but we don't need to add more points for the spots that are already smooth. Shift select two curve points, right click and type S to add a new point between them. Now it's super smooth. The gear-based array curve meshes are used to create incredibly good-looking abstract pipe scenes with metallic or glass-based materials. One thing to watch out for is the polygon count, because this method tends to create a lot of polygons. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.